Hi, welcome to the January edition of Kentucky Farm Bureau Report. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and you're looking forward to the coming year. But right now, let's look back at this year's Kentucky Farm Bureau Annual Meeting. People, Purpose, Progress was this year's theme as more than 1,500 Kentucky Farm Bureau members from across the state gathered for the 95th annual meeting. Delegates from all 120 counties assembled to participate in committee meetings, business sessions, award presentations, officer elections, and to adopt the very important 2015 priority issues. During the business sessions, the Resolution Committee's final recommendations were brought to the voting delegates for discussion and finalization. One of the breakout sessions that is always of great interest is the University of Kentucky's Agriculture Economic Outlook for the coming year. The awards breakfast was an opportunity to celebrate the membership and service awards which were presented to county farm bureaus. During the breakfast, county members were recognized for their hard work over the past year. Top County Farm Bureau is the Butler County Farm Bureau. Butler County Farm Bureau was honored as Kentucky Farm Bureau's top county in 2014. This is the second year in a row that Butler County won the award. We take and we divide the awards book off into committees. And our com each one of our committees are responsible for their section in the awards book. And then we go above and beyond what the awards book says. But uh, we're just very involved with our community and with our board. We have an excellent board of directors. Good job well done. Each year, Kentucky Farm Bureau recognizes an individual whose efforts not only strengthen the state's agriculture industry, but also demonstrate service and leadership both on and off the farm. Three Kentucky farmers were considered as finalists in this year's competition. Jack Trumbull was honored as this year's Kentucky Farm Bureau Farmer of the Year. My wife, Gwen, is of course the reason that I'm here today. And there's two other guys in the room and I really want them to stand up and be recognized because they are, they are me and they are everything that we stand for. We're not raising corn, soybeans, and wheat. We're raising young farmers. James and Jeremy Tucker, please stand up. Mercer County Farm Bureau leaders appropriately praise Mr. Wagner. Mercer County Farmer Bill Wagner has been named winner of the Kentucky Farm Bureau's annual award for distinguished service to Farm Bureau. Mr. Wagner and his wife Peggy have been farming for 56 years, producing tobacco, cattle, and grain. Hardin County Farmer Richard Preston was named winner of Kentucky Farm Bureau's annual award for distinguished service to agriculture. Mr. Preston was raised on a small hobby farm near Glendale with aspirations of being a farmer. Ag Radio journalist Jeff Nally was named the winner of Kentucky Farm Bureau's 2014 Communications Award. I can't stand here that I don't say a name of Jack Crowner, that I don't say a name of Dink Emery, of Fred Wishy, and of Barney Arnold. There have been a host of people over the period of years that crossed this stage and other places that stood up for what they believed in. They believed in you, and they believed in agriculture. Dr. Gary Laceville, a forage extension specialist and professor of plant and soil sciences for the University of Kentucky, is the recipient of Kentucky Farm Bureau's 29th Annual Farm Public Relations Award. Ladies and gentlemen, I am indeed honored to receive this, and I'm honored to receive this from Kentucky Farm Bureau, an organization that I've had the pleasure of working with for over 35 years. Aaron and Melissa Miller from Hardin County won top honors in Kentucky Farm Bureau's Excellence in Agriculture Award competition. Just like the 
Cody Lee Burke of Fleming County and Lily Robertson of Logan County were awarded top honors in the 2014 Outstanding Farm Bureau Youth Contest. Feels pretty good, yeah. I've, uh, I know we both uh, won runner-up last year, so we've been working at this hard for uh, several years, and uh, it's good to finally pay off. Farm Bureau gave both Cody and Lily a $2,000 college scholarship, an expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. for the congressional tour in February, a luggage set and watch for winning the contest. Yeah, I just appreciate the opportunity to be able to come. It's yep. great uh, to be able to meet all the people that I've met through winning, um, seeing all the people that we competed with last year and uh, being able to go at it again. Yep. Chris and Rebecca Pierce of Pulaski County were honored for Kentucky Farm Bureau's 2014 Outstanding Young Farm Family Competition. In addition to receiving statewide recognition as the newest outstanding young farm family, they also receive an all-expense-paid trip to American Farm Bureau Federation's National Young Farm Family Competition in San Diego. We're really honored to be uh, recognized with these families. Uh, we're, we're excited about going to the Nationals. Uh, Rebecca's never been to California, so this is going to be a real experience for her family. So. Brought up something about encouragement. Cameron Edwards of Webster County won first place in the final round of Kentucky Farm Bureau's discussion meet. As, as professional the discussion growth. meet is a debate styled competition for young farmers that relies on the individual skill and reasoning and logical discussion of issues. And I encourage you to support the election of Mr. Haney. On the concluding day of the 95th annual meeting, Pulaski County farmer Mark Haney was re-elected president of Kentucky Farm Bureau. Thank you very much. You're very good. Also re-elected were Webster County's Eddie Milton as first vice president and Hart County's Fritz Gieske as second vice president. All in all, this year's annual meeting was truly a demonstration of people, purpose, and progress. Kentucky Farm Bureau President Mark Haney recently appointed a 20-member committee to serve on a water management working group. Mr. Haney urged the group to focus on three objectives. What I really hoped that this committee would do would be able to three things, really research kind of where we are, the certain, uh, you know, where we are on, on this issue, what are we, what do we have available today and at this time. And they, I think we need to examine uh, what pot potential actions could be done moving to the future as we, as we address the problems and then certainly be able to finish with recommendations to the appropriate people, uh, whether, it be, whether it be in Washington or whether it be in Frankfurt at the State House or, or to agencies or whatever. Uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, I don't know of anything I've been more excited about in recent years than the, the potential outcome that we can have out of the body of work of this committee. This is a very dynamic group. It comes from citizens, ag producers, uh, agency folks, uh, folks who have expertise in the area of water management. Uh, to help us, again, identify the critical issues and then come up with solutions, I think, are the more important aspects of things we can do better to manage our water resources. So it's a very di diverse group, and I'm very honored to be chair. The Water Management Group will meet monthly for the next several months. Shelby County Farm Bureau and Shelbyville Kiwanis Club had a large turnout for their Farm City Banquet. The banquet celebrates Shelby County's agriculture heritage, along with its continued urban growth. David Beck, Executive Vice President of Kentucky Farm Bureau, was the featured keynote speaker. Agriculture is important, ladies and gentlemen, and it really is. Talk about the trade issues, over $115 billion uh, export every year of food and fiber around the world. We export more food than we import, and that goes a long way in this country on the balance of trade. Agriculture is important. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be with you this evening, and I hope everyone here has a wonderful Thanksgiving.
Commodity group leaders joined Kentucky Farm Bureau's executive committee recently at the state office to discuss commodity issues with state legislative leaders. Every time we get a chance, we talk about agriculture. We talk about the business of agriculture. They discuss potential issues for the 2015 short session of the General Assembly. The Kentucky Farm Bureau is so involved throughout Kentucky, every community across Kentucky, all counties across Kentucky, and to be able to come and uh, talk here today uh, to the uh, board, the folks that are involved out in the farm community and different businesses, whether it be beef cattle or poultry or whether it be the grain industry or whatever their profession is, it's so good to be able to come and really talk to them first of all about the upcoming session issues that could uh, be coming forth, but to also encourage their involvement in what takes place in Frankfurt, for them to be a part of the process. The annual Farm City Celebration Luncheon took place in November. The event celebrates the contributions of the agribusiness industry. The Agribusiness of the Year Award is presented at the luncheon. This year, the award went to George and Barbara Gagel, owners of George Gagel Truck Farm in Louisville. On behalf of Greater Louisville Link, the Regional Chamber of Commerce, and the Agribusiness Agri Industry Network, uh, we are presenting George Gagel Truck Farm with the 22nd Annual Agribusiness of the Year Award. And we offer you our sincere congratulations. Congratulations. It is a great honor for us to win this today. We could not do it without God's help and His guidance and also with the wonderful team that we have that works for us and with us. They are our backbones and without our team we'd have nothing. Matt Ingram, Kentucky Farm Bureau Federation. And of course there's always the excitement of the Wingtip Rodeo. <laughs> Now here's your calendar of coming events. The President and Vice President's Conference is February the 10th through the 11th at the Gold House in Louisville. Food Checkout Week is February 15th through the 21st. And the Congressional Tour is February 21st through the 25th. Well, that's it for this edition of Kentucky Farm Bureau Reports. We'll see you next time. <music>